Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming. Just uh, to 20 minutes to share with you the initiative we have in France around the digital workplace for, for civil servants, for public agents. Uh, and uh, of course, it's first of all uh, uh, an initiative, a French initiative, but uh, uh, we started this year to broaden this, this initiative at a European level, and uh, we I hope I, I, we have, to have time to, uh, to, to talk about that as well. So, in a few words. Sorry. Um, just about two, a few words maybe about, about DINUM, uh, which is the directorate for French directorate, uh, uh, interministerial directorate for, for digital in France. Uh, it means it's uh, this uh, entity is there to uh, ease the, 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 the digitization of the different ministries um, and uh, the different uh, uh, administrations in France. And uh, in the roadmap that has been uh, published in 2023, one of the pillars was about guaranteeing sovereignty of uh, uh, the, the tools or the, or the environment of civil servants, of administrations. And um, uh, these, these, in, in this roadmap, uh, this pillar was about something that already started a few years ago. Uh, it's not, it's not been brand new. And um, uh, this initiative just is here to strengthen this, this, uh, uh, this work done by, by Denim for years. Uh, beyond sovereignty, um, we, of course, it'll, all of these tools are, 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 um, are open source based, but uh, we are uh, at Dinium. We are also very focused on data, and in terms of concepts, we like to go beyond the point source. We are talking about now about commons, just to uh, to uh, to englobe and gathers uh, all, all the, the 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 concept of uh, opening uh, code and data and knowledge uh, uh, with all the the. Uh, with all the, the, the participants uh, around, the, around the, uh, a tool, a service, or, or a set of data. Uh, to address this, uh, I, I said it was an initiative from, uh, that has started a few years ago. It started uh, precisely in, in 2016. And with a legal framework, uh, because the government at that, at that time um, uh, had uh, uh, published a new, a new law called uh, Law for, for Digital Republic, Loi pour une République Numérique. And um, of course, it gave uh, all the uh, ecosystem, uh, French administration ecosystem, the, the way or a vision uh, in terms of uh, using uh, data and, 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 open, or, and open source tools. Uh, and beyond these, these laws, uh, it's, it's also a question of uh, how people are working on these tools and data. And uh, uh, more or less at the same time, uh, uh, an, another initiative started called uh, uh, in French, uh, Startup Data, let's say state startups. Uh, where any public agent can uh, come to its administration uh, and say, I have a new idea uh, about a new digital service. I would like to, to create it, change it, uh, improve it. Uh, and in that way, we, uh, we design new, let's say, incubators to, uh, to ease the, the, the creation of these, of these startups. Um, and uh, the, the mindsets of the people uh, involved into that are more like makers instead of thinkers. Other initiatives uh, uh, came along the way. Uh, Blue Hats and, uh, and uh, Bastien, who 
was supposed to be here <laughs> first today, uh, is, is, has a, um, uh, a keynote about, about Blue Hats uh, in a few minutes uh, in another room. Um, I talked about, uh, about accelerators, um, and uh, this year, we, well, yes, early this year, we, we started to develop a, a set of applications called La Suite, uh, open source applications for, for, uh, for uh, public agents. And uh, uh, we, uh, I offer you to, to, to talk about, about this, this suite. Um, so we, we, we start working in small teams, like small startups. Um, uh, all of them are working on, on, on open source stacks and, uh, at, and are developing different type of services or, tool, or tools or commons. Um, and uh, as you can see, there, there are various and, uh, and uh, it's just we are considering these, these uh, applications, this set of tools just are uh, modules or um, or, or bricks uh, that can be uh, used together or alone. Uh, you can use one, two, three, or more. Um, and the, the idea behind this is to offer any uh, public employees uh, the ability to uh, use these tools beside all the tools they are already using and uh, to in-connect these applications uh, in order to ease their, 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 their daily work. So it is just a, a, a set of, of different tools used uh, in, the, the, in the public, um, French uh, public administration, but uh, just to give you a, an idea of, of the different, uh, of the different uh, stack used and uh, uh, most importantly, in, in, into that, that's because we think that uh, it's uh, it's important for any public French public agent to to use these tools very easily uh, with with no with no issues in terms of uh, connection of uh, identification uh, sharing uh, sharing data. Uh, we worked initially on uh, on an SSO, uh, so we are um, now the let's say the commercial name of it is ProConnect, but uh, maybe some of you you know already uh, uh, France Connect, uh, which is for for any citizens, and this uh, SSO is more dedicated to to ease the connection from, uh, of course, public agents, but also companies, or, I mean, professionals. Uh. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so that's uh, an SSO that uh, offer any, um, any public agent to uh, connect to, to these tools very easily. Uh, without thinking of, oh, uh, I have this type of, uh, uh, credentials to access this tool, but uh, for another one, I have to use other credentials. No, that's, it's, it's designed to be simple. Um, so that's, that's a challenge, the first challenge. Uh, so uh, to, uh, to make it fully interoperable, not as you say. Uh, um, and of course, it has to also to uh, comply with, uh, with the, uh, the EU laws that are uh, emerging on, on that, in that field. Uh, among the different uh, tools we are offering, of course, one of the, the, one of the basics are uh, the, the mailboxes. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, the design remains the same for all the different tools, we, we, it's, and it's easy to, uh, to implement. We are also uh, design uh, an instant messaging tool based on metrics, and, that's in, and this, uh, this act is important because we figured out that some other European countries are already using this, this uh, instant messaging stack, so uh, uh, that's 
at the, at the beginning of this year, it, uh, a new story started with some European countries using the same, the, the same tool. Um, and for, for us, it was also very important to find tools that could be also used uh, in other European countries. Uh, just to um, make it simple, the more you work on uh, uh, open source uh, tools, the more you will have uh, resources in order to, to develop new, uh, uh, new features. So, um, uh, in uh, February, we signed with the uh, uh, Ministry of Interior of Germany uh, a member memorandum of, un of understanding, sorry, an MOU uh, to, in order to uh, uh, give resources from France and Germany to develop new features in some tools we uh, would like to use together, or we already use, but uh, to, uh, to have the same features, new features in these tools. So uh, that's why we, 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 we did, uh, we, we considered that we had the same goals, but with different approaches. Uh, maybe some of you know the, the Open Desk suite that is about to be launched in a few days. And, and uh, to achieve that, uh, we, we consider that it was important to uh, involve the different uh, public agents uh, to, to this, um, uh, to this uh, conception, to, to the design of these new tools, and uh, we created the, what we call 100-day challenges. Uh, that's also uh, another methodology uh, separated from the, or that could be on top of the uh, the start, state startup mentioned before, uh, methodology means mentioned before, and uh, the, it means that the, the teams the, from France and, and Germany, in that case, uh, have 100 days and more or less six months uh, to develop these new features on their different tools. So, um, it, uh, we, they, they started in April. We did last week, uh, uh, let's say, a meeting, a project that's on with, with, the, with the, all these teams in, in Paris. And the final uh, delivery of these tools, new tools, will be uh, at the end of this year in, uh, in Germany. And uh, we, uh, we have, at that stage, we had very good results in terms of uh, uh, of uh, development of these of these tools, um, as you can see, our work is published under open source licenses, so uh, it's anyone can use it. It's open to everybody. Uh, and we last week also invited other uh, European countries to uh, to see how the teams works on that. Are working on that on, on these on the, on the on these tools and uh, to know more about the methodology behind it and uh, and maybe to uh, if, the, if they are interested in to participate to to this uh, conception of new tools or new part of of, of open source tools. Um, so uh, as I said previously, it's. You can enrich a product, you can add a feature, you can strengthen your, your infrastructure through, through these challenges. And that's what we, we, uh, we, we did uh, on three, let's say, uh, products. Uh, the first one was, is an SSO, a single sign-on to offer any public agent in France or in Germany to use the tools in one or another country. Uh, the second one is uh, uh, a text editor, and the third one is based on different AI bricks, open source AI bricks, uh, mainly the, the what's behind well, it's mainly LLMs, and uh, to, in order to uh, to in the end to give an abstract for for example, uh, once you did a video conference. Uh, you can get the transcript, the transcript uh, and then have an abstract of this, of this transcript. 
Uh, just to, to have a, and I, and I won't be too long, um, to just to, because I, I talked about the, this challenge and the framework in terms of, of time, of agenda. Uh, so it started in May, we'll uh, evaluate and, and deliver the, uh, this in, in December. And uh, just uh, uh, up to the, to the red arrow, that is the project that was on in, in last week. Uh, so we still, ha still have some, some way to do, but um, we, we consider that the, we have, with these regular contact points, uh, we can achieve the, the, the goal we, we stated in, in May. So, thank you <laughs> for listening. <laughs> and what about you? Questions? No? No? Ah, we're fit. Thank you. Uh, which countries will be already invited to Berlin and what was, which countries have shown interest? Uh, we had last week seven different countries. Thanks for the question. Uh, uh, we had seven countries, uh, includes uh, the Netherlands, Belgium, uh, Greece, Denmark, uh, France, Germany, of course. Uh, and we had also uh, some people from the European Commission. Uh, oh, sorry. And uh, we, but uh, they were, they were, uh, uh, and also Austria and, uh, and uh, Czech Republic, but uh, through a video conference. Thank you for the presentation. Um, do you think this um, uh, project uh, could be, in a long-term perspective, um, uh, an alternative to uh, Office 365 or it's not the project. Just, just asking. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the aim of this project is not to, uh, to, uh, to give a full alternative to uh, the, the, the products that are already from the market. But uh, what we heard from the different uh, administration, and I'm talking just about France, is that today uh, they have uh, some tools and they have also some needs and these tools today do not cover all the needs. So that's why we are setting up these new tools in order to cover the rest of the needs. So uh, if in the product they are using today, they consider they have, they could find an alternative in, the, in this set of tools, we would be happy with that. <laughs> 